All right, guys, we're gonna move this. We're gonna move this video camera around a little bit while I show you um, how we hooked up this differential pressure transmitter to the orifice plate. Now you can see that we have a high side and a low side port here on this DP transmitter, and they're actually connected up here to each side of this orifice plate. So this is the orifice plate, the homemade one that we just made today. And on this side of that orifice plate is a pressure connection up into the process line. We're actually right up into the water going through here. Now this is the pump side of this orifice plate. Now the pump side is gonna be your high pressure side, okay? So if you follow that tube down here, you're gonna see that that connects right into the high side port here, all right? Now the low side port is going to go to the downstream side of the surface plate. All right, it's going to come over here and connect to the downstream side. Now, once we got this all connected up, we're not quite ready to go yet. Um, we're in a good spot. However, we've got a bunch of air in the line, AIR in the line, all right? And we need to bleed these lines down. Now to do that, we actually needed to have water in the line. So we had the pump fired up and running, and as there was pressure in this water line, um, we went ahead and cracked open the bleeders on the back of the transmitter here. So if you look back here, you can see that there are a couple bleeders here, okay? Low and high port bleeders, right? And so what you need to do on them is crack them open and burp them until all the air comes out and all you got is water running out. Once you got those lines bled, then you're ready to go ahead and get into this transmitter and do a setup. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and shut this video off and we're going to start a new one here with how you configure this using the heart communicator.